Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. Quite a sight. After weeks of delays, the rocket that could one day bring astronauts back to the moon is now on its way up there. The Artemis One took off from Cape Canaveral early this morning after persistent issues and Hurricane Ian pushing the launch back several times. National correspondent Clayton Sandell was there for this morning's launch. He joins us live now from Cape Canaveral. Clayton, this rocket finally got off the ground and you got to see it unfold. What happens now? Hey, good morning, Jay. Yeah, we stayed up all night for this launch that didn't happen till almost 2 o'clock in the morning, and it was absolutely impressive. It was my first launch. It lit up the night sky. It was incredibly loud, and you could actually feel the shockwaves in your chest because this is, after all, the most powerful rocket that humans have ever built, but it's what's on top of that rocket that NASA is paying attention to now. There is an Orion capsule that is now on its way to the moon, and this is basically a test flight. There are no astronauts on board, uh, but it is going to fly to the moon. It's going to orbit the moon on a 25-day mission and then will return back to Earth. Now, one of the key objectives here is to test all sorts of components along the way, including the heat shield, because when this capsule comes back to Earth, it is going to be traveling 25,000 miles an hour and get this heating up to around 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is simply not something you want to be testing for the first time with people on board. So they're keeping the people off. So still a lot of work to do. But Charlie Blackwell Thompson, who's the Artemis launch manager, uh, is basically taking she and her team a bit of a victory lap this morning. Take a listen. What you have done today will inspire generations to come. So thank you. Thank you for your resilience. You know, I said at the pretest briefing, the harder the climb, the better the view. We showed the Space Coast tonight. What a beautiful view it is. So congratulations. So if all goes according to plan, that capsule will come back and splash down off the coast of San Diego, Jay, on December 11th. Pretty impressive. Clayton, NASA says it still wants to go to Mars. So why are we even going to the moon first? Yeah, well, you know, we really don't know a lot about living in deep space. In fact, we've only been as far as the moon and we haven't even been there in 50 years. So NASA says they want to use the moon basically as a stepping stone. They want to learn how to live, work, to survive there and use all of that knowledge to eventually uh, set the stage for the next giant leap, which is going to Mars. Uh, and you're probably wondering when that might happen. Well, the NASA administrator, Bill Nelson, has said that the first humans on Mars, well, it probably won't happen until around uh, late 2030s, maybe 2040s. So, gotta wait a little bit longer. Gonna have to wait for that. National correspondent Clayton Sandell reporting for us. Thanks, Clayton.